what, what are you thinking as each one of them, the pressure builds on each one of those late free throws? What am I thinking? I'm thinking we need it. Um, we need these free throws to help us win the game. Um, you know, I missed a couple, I missed three. And, you know, Emmanuel, Ashton, you know, they came up to me and said, I'm good. And when I missed my first one, I, I was starting to do a little, little like, anger thing. And then Emmanuel just came over and just, he helped me through it and just told me to just take my time and just knock it down. Emmanuel, where, uh, where do you think you guys would have been without the performance that Nick gave you guys? Uh, we have no chance of winning without Nick. Uh, what he did for us, uh, rebounding the ball, scoring in the paint when we needed it. 25 and 14, four blocks. I mean, it's not too many big men in the country that's doing that. So what he brought today was, was real big. Nick, a lot of big guys, a lot of guys just would have um, left Kentucky after mm-hmm. the second season, seeing their role decrease a little bit, being yeah. McDonald's All-American. Why did you stay and, and how satisfying is this this year? Um, I'm, I mean, for me, just everybody has their own story. And, you know, just because I didn't, just because I go to a school that's known for one and done doesn't mean I have to be one and done. Um, I just, t- it took me time to develop. Um, over the past three years, I've, I've had the best time of my life, you know, meeting incredible people, having the best coaching staff in the world, just training me to be the player I am right now and to be a, the better player I could, be, I could become. How much more comfortable, Nick, do you feel now as opposed to two years ago or last year? I feel very comfortable knowing that my, I know my role on this team right now. Um, you know, even though I, I don't take the most shots on the team, uh, I still know my role on this team. Uh, rebound block shots, get, get easy baskets when needed, um, set good screens. It just, I'm, I'm very comfortable right now. How you guys have won on the road already in a tough place to play? Sorry. In a tough place to play, but tonight felt different because you're, you gave up a lead again, yep. and it looked like they had you beat to, to snatch victory away in that environment when they were this crazy at the very end and have to make those late plays, the very end of the game plays. How significant does that feel to you, Emmanuel? Uh, I think it's a credit to our coaches. Um, our whole week has been preparing for this game. Uh, really tough drills. Uh, we got this thing called a minute, 29 seconds, and we got to get 15 touches all the way down and back. It's a really tough drill. Uh, we did wall sits this whole week. Um, just just little things like that to, you know, uh, when times get tough in the game, you won't let go of the ropes. So uh, I think it's really a, a credit to our, to our coaching staff. You guys play on some incredible atmosphere. Who was this like tonight? That was one of the best atmospheres we played in. Um, I think we go to Auburn soon. That's going to be a really, really good game. Um, I know for the guys that, that come back, that came back from last year, you know, we love playing at Auburn, and we're very, very excited for it. Nick, why do you guys love uh, playing at Auburn? Uh, the crowd. It, basically the crowd. Um, it's just like this one is loud. Everybody, everybody's rooting against you. Um, you know, it's just a fun environment to play in. And Emmanuel, you guys led by nine coming down the stretch of the second half, then by six in overtime, and it got pretty tense. Why Why did it get tense, do you think? Uh, it's a really tough place to play. Uh, you got 16,000 people rooting against you, booing you, uh, calling you all kinds of stuff. Uh, sometimes that can you know, be a little bit distracting, but it's a credit to these guys. We got a really tough team, uh, really mentally strong. So uh, I can't wait to you know play the next game with these guys. It's, it's just been fun all year playing with them. Nick, uh, there were at least a couple times that game you were kind of going back and forth with the tech student section. What's it like to be to have that kind of uh, exchange with the uh, with the crowd? Um, I don't know, man. It's just it's just the heat of the moment, I guess. Uh, and I noticed every time I came in the game, they booed me. So um, it was just fun to have to have the interaction with them, going back and forth to them. Emmanuel, this wasn't necessarily Ashton's best day. It wasn't Tyrese's best day. But at the end of the game, when you guys had to, to have a, you ha- absolutely had to have a stop. He's in there poking that ball loose. Is that is there some supreme confidence in you guys that however he's played to this to that point that Ashton's going to be that guy? I grabbed him before the in the timeout, and I was like, bro, you're the defensive player of the year. You're the best defensive player in the country. And then after he got this steal, I went up to him, grabbed him, hugged him. I was like, nobody, there's no, and I just said it again, there's no better defensive player than you. Uh, we're really confident what Ashton does. Uh, he's like top 15 for best defensive player in the, in the country. So uh, we're not shocked at what Ashton does. We see it every day. So for him to do it on this big stage is, is really good for him, really good for us.
Guys, what did you guys learn from the South Carolina game that's helped you at Arkansas and in this game? Um, you know, you just go off a learning experience, and that was a learning experience for us. Um, we just made a lot of mistakes during, during the last eight minutes of that game. We watched film on it, and we just learned from it, basically. Emmanuel, or both of you, well, you guys defended Ramsey pretty well. He didn't uh, do a whole lot. What, what was the key there? Um, it's never really one man. Uh, like every really good player we play, um, it's always a team effort. Uh, whoever's guarding him knows that he has four other people uh, behind him, talking to him, helping him on screens and things like that. Uh, Ramsey's a really good player. He's going to be a, a really good player uh, in the future. So uh, for us to come out and you know kind of contain him a little bit was really good for us. Helped us get the win. To both of you guys, it kind of strikes me that the day after one of your teammates who was struggling left the program, that the two, the story of the game is two guys who stayed and saw success by patience. I guess what are your thoughts on that idea and also just your reaction? I think it was pretty surprising to everybody that, that Khalil left. Uh, I'll say everybody's story is different. Um, God has individual plans for each and every one of us. Uh, everybody's, you know, not going to stay on that same path. Uh, he he thought it was a better way for him to go a different route. He's still my brother. Uh, I'll still con keep in contact with him, you know, each and every day that I can. So, yeah, show my support as well. So